September 15, 2023. Very fandom news on GFTV News. Persona in a game. Yay or nay? Not all feel the same. It's been a month since Jin Tan, Chinese versatile Jin Tan got featured in a battle royale game called Game for Peace. Many Chinese fairies were unhappy, even angry, calling him an embarrassment to the fandom. Really, is that what the fandom thinks? GFTV did a survey. It is a yes, no, neither question, but it's variations of each choice to capture nuance. An optimistic and a conservative yes is different. Will Jin Tan's feature improve Furry's reputation? 44% said yes, 23% said no, 33% said neither. But let's go deeper. Most global and China surveys agreed, but the Chinese disagreed more. For yes votes, global votes are distributed. Most Chinese surveys say yes, but are cautious. For no votes, Chinese surveys disagreed more and are more pessimistic. For neither votes, more global surveys have no opinion. An equal minority of both survey groups say they don't know what will happen. More Chinese surveys want to keep up with updates about Jin Tan's situation. So, will Jin Tan's feature improve Furry's reputation? Depends on who you ask. Opinion between the Chinese and global surveys are different. Even the Chinese themselves are divided. Why? Some furries believe that cultural differences is why. Chinese culture is collectivist. People think about how their actions affect the whole group. Here, Chinese furries feel they are all responsible for their culture, including their personas. Jin Tan's actions are seen as selfish and are not what the group's interests wanted. Outside of China, it is more individualist. The person themselves, not the group, are responsible for their own actions. Here, people feel Jin Tan deserves benefit for the attention their persona got. It is his business, his gain, and if any, his loss. Regardless, the fact stands that a furry is now in a game. Furries and non-furries around the world are curious, excited, or perhaps scared. What Jin Tan's feature may really bring for the furry community ahead, we cannot say what for sure. Only time can tell. On August 29th, 2023, GFTV launched its Dutch language news service. This makes the channel the first in the world to offer at least in audio, furry fandom news in English, Chinese, and Dutch simultaneously. GFTV News in Dutch or Furry Fandom News in Hint Nederlands is available wherever you get your podcasts on Radio Furry. Here's wishing the new Dutch news service all the best or feel success. First thing in the heat, are you complaining much? Look at Singapore then. For a first suit meetup at Labrador Nature Reserve, furries gathered on Sunday, September 3rd. It's 31 degrees, 65% humidity. It's 37, it feels like 37 and I'm cooking right here, but the furries don't seem to care. Like they're in their full suits, you get a ghillie, you got a, you got a bird, you got a protogen, anything. They're just here to suit, they don't care. Shh. Yeah, they're just so fast. They're just so far I had to chase them. This is the Dragon's Teeth Gate, one of the nature reserve's landmarks. Now, this is a replica. The British destroyed it last time to let bigger ships sail into the harbour. It was said that the prolific Chinese explorer Admiral Zheng He used it to guide his journey through the straits. Furries used it to guide their poses for fursuit photos. And here is the Berlayer Beacon, another landmark of the park. In the 19th century, the British built it to defend Singapore. A century later, ships used it to enter the harbour on the correct side. 
furries used it to take photos, not in the correct weather. I see humidity. The humidity is like 68. Yeah. And they are all wanting to take a picture here. I guess so. So much for White Fang's enthusiasm. Don't you feel hot? Uh, it is a bit hot, but it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited because it's a very awesome Sunday afternoon. Oh, so your excitement can overcome your thirstiness and... Yes, of course! Uh, is it quite hot, uh, Cessnorm? Yes. It's like hotter than the last time you went, like the cost festing, right? Oh, it's different now. Oh. I was about to talk indoor, but this one is totally outdoor. Hot. I would be lying if I said I wasn't uncomfortable, but definitely... I'm okay. I'm definitely okay. One. Thankfully, the heat subsided by the sunset. More members of the public engage with the fluffy characters, including the student from India. Very good, I like very much. I enjoy very lot in this event. I like very much in the individual characters. Yeah, they they make very funny. Let me let you guess. What is the most amount of money they spend on that kind of suit? Yeah. Two thousand dollar higher, like uh, two thousand dollar even higher. Yes, United States dollar. Oh, this is only United States. This one is just like three thousand, four thousand. If you ever given a chance to chew one, yeah, I want that chick. You see the one bird, like yeah. Oh, like the bird. Yeah, that one. The bike guy. After one, uh, the. Full of lightning. Fish. Oh, the light one. Uh. Yeah. The one with the light. Yeah. Oh. It's very good luck. For look attractive. Very the gathering went on for just two hours before dinner. But the furries enjoyed it. Likewise, Vignesh. At least they ended their weekend on a fun note before the new work one, week. Two, three, and jump. That's all furry fandom news. For more furry news, visit bit.ly slash furry TV. Have a great and wonderful fluffy day.